Hello, welcome to another video and in this video I'd be ranting about Gigabyte's uh, power supply unit uh, the P750GM and the P850GM PSUs in uh, particular and this video is actually in relation to what Gamers Nexus uh, uploaded and I won't be I won't really be dwelling in the drama they're having uh, Gamers Nexus and Gigabyte's press release uh, stuff like that but uh, if you still haven't seen the video from Gamers Nexus, I, I recommend you watching that. It's really entertaining and very informative. Uh, it, it really is a nice video. But quick recap, uh, as it turns out, most, most of the power supply from Gigabyte, the 750 and 850 version, all right, uh, that's bought from Newegg. And most of the users who bought from Newegg, Newegg is... It's like a Lazada kind of thing, but in a more global scale. Uh, most users are giving a bad review for the power supply unit. Uh, whether it's uh, dead on arrival, failing, exploding, damaging other components. And from what I could tell, what Gamers Nexus did, most of the failures uh, that's happening with their with the several power supply units they're testing it on uh, the OPP is failing the power supply units uh, over power protection feature is failing and in some instances causing explosions to the power supply unit and they also did a stress test in a more real world scenario where where they put a very uh, you know they, they tried running a game for a certain period of time and having a, a load of at least 60% I think. Anyway, it's a very close to how, would you, how you would be using your computer for gaming, stuff like that. And it resulted in a damaged video card and a damaged PSU as well, something like that. Again, I, I won't really be uh, dwelling in, in uh, what's going on in their video and in their battle <laughs> with Gigabyte. Um, anyway, going back, again, uh, the, the reason for this video is more on what to do in case you have the same power supply that's having the issue. So here's the press release that uh, Gigabyte gave. So basically, if the serial number of your power supply falls into this batch of serial numbers, uh, you have to have it uh, replaced, but they do say there that uh, just for your peace of mind, you could um, uh, you could have it replaced if you opted to, or but they, they did say in there that the power supplies are you know vetted for something like that. And anyway, uh, my point is, lots of users are having problems with it. Uh, either they've experienced failing components or damaging other components so to be on the safer side even though it still haven't acted up up until now but to be on the safer side uh, I I still opted for it to have it replaced so I contacted my vendor oh no so here's what's happened uh, right after I saw gamers Nexus video I emailed Gigabyte right away and asked them that I have this power supply and I'm I really do prefer to have it replaced and what they told me was I should contact my local vendor first because they don't support Philippines in, in that sort of way so I have to contact my local vendor first where I bought this from and coordinate with them to how how to uh, have this item replaced. Now, Gigabyte also said that if my vendor wasn't able to or won't be able to help me out, I could email them back and they'd try to see on how they could help me out further. So no promises made, uh, but bottom line, uh, if you're from the Philippines, you have to contact your vendor first where you bought the power supply from. Now I hope, I hope you bought the power supply from an authorized reseller just to make sure that he, they'd be able to help you out. But if not, well, you won't know until you contact them about this uh, issue. Uh, on how to approach them, 
uh, here's what I did. I caught because the the person or the store I bought this from is an acquaintance of mine and I told him what's going on and he was really expecting my call already so that saved me a, a bunch of hassles and turns out they are an authorized uh, reseller and I actually already have the power supply boxed up and ready to go and I'd be delivering it to him right after this lockdown and yeah so good thing for me is um the the vendor i bought this from is aware of the issue already and they're expecting the power supply unit back and i hope you're in a similar situation if not uh again try to contact the vendor first if they won't be able to help you out send an email to gigabyte and just in case you bought your computer as a pre-built or, or as a whole set and you don't know uh, what power supply you have installed into your computer what you could do is maybe just open one side of uh, one panel on whatever side of your computer and you just have to take a look if you have a gigabyte and this model uh, shown into the you know shown after opening the panel yeah um, you can do this a bunch of ways there are some computers there are some cases where you could just remove the screw from the back of it on the from the back side of it and just uh pull the power supply unit out a bit a bit just enough for you to see the serial numbers but if not if not you really have to open your computer up some more uh just so that you could take your power supply unit out and physically see what serial number you have on it and if the serial number falls within the batch of serial numbers I've shown earlier I really do recommend to have your power supply unit checked at the very least but uh, I really advise just to have it replaced entirely so what I'd be doing is here's the thing though if you decide to have this replaced it'll take a while uh, uh, I'm guessing here but I, I really think it'll take a while for them to have the to have the power supply unit replaced because uh, what are they going to be replacing the power supply unit with right because most probably uh, you may get the same power supply unit with the same with a serial number that's within the batch still right so what I'd be doing is I'd be replaced I'd be returning the power supply unit I'd be adding a bit of cash and just get an entirely different power supply unit maybe one from Seasonic or whatever whichever one's getting most positive reviews something like that and yeah now uh, as I've said it may take a while for them to replace the power supply and you may decide to use your power supply unit still but here's the thing some uh, like like uh, what Steve shown in this video from Gamers Nexus, uh, it kind of tends to explode. So really, to be on the safer side, uh, I'd really recommend to just stop using the power supply unit still. And if it's really important for you to use your computer, uh, better buy a new one first while waiting for a replacement with a with a glitchy one. So just just buy another one. Yeah, have it have the old one replaced or whatever to, to avoid you know to avoid to be on the safer side of things yeah so that's basically it and uh, I hope you guys enjoy this video and oh and one more thing I, I do hope that uh, you don't get turned off by gigabyte with all this with this whole thing uh, what I mean is yeah most of the components I have here are from gigabyte uh, it's from gigabyte I have a gigabyte GPU motherboard liquid cooler most of them are acting up no doubt about that I have tons of issues with the liquid cooler interfering with it doesn't really go well with Windows for some reason the the graphics card is not really holding a good good voltage in 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 higher clocks something like that very minor issue but my point is all manufacturer have their own quirks if you just search 
for some negative reviews about Asus, MSI, ASRock, whatever, they all have their own quirks. So it's not because Gigabyte's producing uh, bad products. It's not that. It, it, it just can't be avoided. Some products are just really bad for some reason. Uh, it, uh, as Gamer Nexus, uh, you, you may misinterpret what Steve from Gamers Nexus is uh, trying to say. He really understand that things like this really can't be avoided from time to time. But his point of being angry is how Gigabyte's uh, addressing the issue. That's basically it. He's not saying Gigabyte's a bad company. It's not like that. So again, uh, I, I'm not promoting Gigabyte as well. All I'm saying is uh, all manufacturers have their own quirks. And yeah, so that's about it. And I hope you like this video. And uh, yeah, as always, see you in the next one.